Hello adventurers, welcome to Yogyakarta, one of the richest food capital in Indonesia. Today, I'll bring you on a foodie journey to try out some of the best local food in the city. If you haven't tried any of these dishes, you haven't been to Yogyakarta. Let's begin! Our first stop is a local legend, Soto Kadipiru. This street is actually full of the family's restaurant chains, but the one said to be the real deal is this one. Time to try the soto. Mm, you can smell the lime and all the spices. Mm. It's good. It's a very light soup. You can definitely taste the chicken stock. And I read that they make their chicken stock fresh every morning and they only do it once. So that's why I'm here early in the morning just to make sure I can get a taste of this. Try the chicken. Mm. Tender, tasty. All the veggies, the rice, and everything. Mm. Good. Good stuff. The smell is so welcoming, man. The next one is a local favorite. Very famous for their pisang goreng. They are very popular, so I'll have to get into the banana wait list. Yay, I got my fried bananas. I'm using the traditional cutlery. Ooh, hot hot. Let's do it. Oh. The sweetness of the bananas is really there. Mmm, oh yes. The outside of the banana is crispy. I want you to dig in to the insides. It's soft and sweet. It's the succulent sweet kind of flavor. It hugs your taste buds and spread the banana, sweet banana taste. And the crumbs. Mm. This is a joy to eat. I almost left Kopi Klok Tok without trying their kopi. So I'm coming, I'm going back in to buy the kopi. Satu aja kopi hitam. Kopi hitam? Ya. Oh, bawa langsung? Ya, bawa langsung. Yang ini ya? Boleh. Kasih. I got my kopi Klok Tok. Let's try it. <laughs> it's like liquid kopi ko. Yeah, there's the roast. I sweeten it for you. Sugar, no milk. Yeah, the smell is there as well. And for some for some reason, it does taste a bit creamy. It's very enjoyable. Lets you forget a little bit about life and just enjoy the coffee moment. Cheers. They are a traditional kitchen that also sells many local food. All the food is self-service and you can take as much as you want. It's very homely here. Really everyone just sits around in the tikar, just eating. Now we're gonna try one of the Jogjakartan dessert as Doger by Pak Firman. Pak, satu. Satu, minum sini. Yeah, minum sini. Kasih. Yeah, literally we are at the street side eating as doger. There's a slight smell from the drain this side. Other than that, all's good. Oop. <laughs> There's a bee. The bee is trying to eat my as doger. That's how you know it's sweet, you know. I guess I have to ask him to be gone. Time to try. I think there's some bread, ice. Hmm. The bread is doused in chocolate and I think condensed milk. Nice sweetness. It's almost like bread ice cream. There's a floral sweetness as well from the pink color syrup. Let's dig into what's below. We have ooh, some fruits and beans. Red beans. Red beans, jellies. Mm. 
this uh, glutinous black rice gives you a very sweet and chewy texture. I like the glutinous rice. I feel it would be better if this served in a bowl, you know? Then you can access the different ingredients at will. Because there's a cup, I need to finish all the breads before I can reach the bottom. Honestly, it's not bad for a dessert. But I wish they could open shop in a more desirable location. I think people more concerned with sanitary standards will be quite put off to come here. I saw a few flies flying around. I hope I'll be fine. I'll update you later. <laughs> this next dish blew my mind for its uniqueness. Okay, now we are at Rujak Ice Cream. It's the first time I hear this, so let's give it a try. Rujak is an Indonesian dish of fruits and vegetables served with sweet peanut sauce. Rujak Ice Cream, satu. Yeah, satu mangasin. I thought it would be rojak flavored ice cream, but it's literally rojak with ice cream as topping. Oh, gini aja. Uh, okay, let's give it a try. Tasting the ice cream first. Hmm? The ice cream itself is normal. Now we try with the rojak. No. It's funky. Not in a bad way. You can taste the rojak itself and then you feel the coldness of the ice cream and the sweetness. Then they all blend and mix together. It's actually quite nice. I, I didn't expect to taste this. Because you know the rojak has its own rojak paste, that rojak flavor. When you mix it with the ice cream texture, temperature, it gives you a whole new world of experience. Wow. It's definitely a very unique experience. We are now at Mangut Lele Dapur Asli Bo Martu. Dapur legend Bo Martu. She's 94 years old as of this year and still cooking. Masih buka? So you go to the kitchen yourself and you just take the food. Hello, Bu. Boleh satu porsi? Mangut ngambil sendiri. Oh, ngambil sendiri ini? Iya. Oke. Ini lelenya, ini kuahnya. Ini gudeg kerecek tahu tempe. Oh, sayurannya udah habis. Oh, okay. Tinggal gudeg kerecek tahu tempe. Ngambil sendiri. Boleh, boleh. Terima kasih. Ya, udah bali dulu. Okay, now we have our lele. This is the one with all the sauces. And this one is before the sauces. I like spicy, but I can't really take too much of it. So I got two separate ones, just in case it's too spicy. <laughs> we'll eat the spicy one first. The lele easily tears off the bone. And this is the sauce. The mangut. Now I have a slice here. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Wow. Oh, spicy. <laughs> the catfish is so fresh. The grill is really good. You can taste the smokiness. You can taste the catfish. And the sauce. The sauce, man, is a kicker. Uh, it's really a shame that I can't take too much spicy. That small amount of sauce is the right amount for me. Ooh, it gets spicier over time. Oh, you have to be very careful. There's a lot of bones. Now, the grilled lele without the chili. Okay. Yeah, with the chili, it's much nicer. <laughs> the chili is really good, the kicker here. The slight fishiness of the catfish complements really well with the kick of the spice. I've never tasted this flavor profile before. <sighs> Call 911. There's a fire. Kalau teman-teman, kalau ke Jogja jangan lupa ya mampir ke dapur asli Bok Mato Ijaya Jalan Sewon ya. Oke. Now we are at Sate Kletak Pak Pong. So from what I heard, this is where they have big chunks of sate. Very succulent, very good, very delicious. All the sate are prepared fresh on the spot. Our sate is here. So indeed, the sate is very big. It's almost as thick as my thumb. See. Let's begin. Mm. 
Mmm. Wow. The meaty parts are very tender, very savory. So the fattier part is very chewy, but the flavors are bursting. So as you can see, this is the leaner part, this is the fattier part. It's best to eat them together. Let's try again. Yeah, that hits the spot. Mm. Wow. You can see a bit of the searing. Those parts gives a smoky, adds to the char of the meat. Nice. Now, try with the sauce. Looks like a blend of ketchup. With the ketchup sauce, round one. Wow. It adds another layer, a uh, slight juiciness to it. No, oh, it's a good complementary sauce. I also want to try the soup. Oh, surprisingly tastes very light. I think it will be nice with the rice. Cheers. Yeah, man. This is made for the rice. When you eat it with the rice, all the broth flavor really comes out with the rice. Wow, oh, it's so good. The origin story of the name Sate Kaltak is said to be the sound that the sate makes when it's grilled. Next, Bakmi Jowo by Mbah Kito, which is very popular among high profile figures. And my Bakmi Goreng is here. You can see there are some pieces of meat, like chicken, and uh, maybe this is beef. Some spices, fried shallots. Let's cut a small piece first. Cheers! Ding. Wow! When the meat and the noodles enter your mouth, there's a burst of umami. Good. For this one, it's a very small snack, very easy to eat, but it's very good. It's the Bakpia Patok. There's a lot of Bakpia in Yogyakarta, but from the local reviews, the number 25 is the best tasting one. Let's try. Oh, kalau yang yang nyoba yang udah pecah ya? Kalau ini yang sepet. Nah, ini yang yang aslinya begini. Yeah, so for the field production, they let you guys to taste it. I think the real one tastes better because after it's broken up, it gets a bit drier. So let's get the real one. Eh, nggak boleh lihat eh? Nggak boleh. Dari sini boleh lihat nggak? Boleh lihat, cuma ambil gambar dulu. I wanted to show you guys how they made it, but looks like it's company secret. It's okay, I'll let you feed. I'll, I'll let you see the eating. Eh, makasih bu. They got a lot of other products as well. Okay, I'm gonna find a corner. I will show you the real thing. Well, the the taster bapia was super dry, making it hard to talk. Eh, over here. Here it is. When it's fresh, you can when you touch it, you can feel it's a bit moist. That moisture is the one that makes it chewy and juicier when you eat it. Okay, so let's dig in. You can see the inside. The original is a green bean paste inside. I love it when the green bean really fills your mouth and excites your taste buds with all the flavors. Mm. It would be a lot better if I had some tea or coffee with this. Yeah, It's a very good snack item. Definitely a Jogja favorite. Check the video description for a URL to all the food locations. If you like food, Come explore more must-eat places with me here. I'll see you there.